Tierra here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Throwing in a couple Valentine's Day soaps into the January release because now that the holidays are behind us, what's next is Valentine's Day. And I was inspired by the column heart mold that Brambleberry had sent me and a soap that I did last year, pretty much bringing that design back, but wanting to make the, the soap into actual shapes of hearts to look like the conversation hearts or the sweethearts that you get around Valentine's Day. Those little sugared candies that have the sayings on them. So that is what we're doing today. I have added a little bit of powdered titanium dioxide into my, my oils. I will mix that up before adding in my lye solution. As usual, there's the coconut milk powder in there, the kaolin clay, I've got tuss of silk and some sodium lactate in there. So let's give this a whirl and add in our isolation. I've been seeing this heart column mold a couple times. It's like the perfect time of year for, you know, all heart-shaped things. So I added the titanium dioxide in there because I want this to stay very pastel. I'm adding some buttercup mica that is from Brambleberry into this guy and then I'm going to pour some of it off and just darken it up a little bit with some yellow vibrant so that at least there's some sort of swirl in there. We'll give that a mix. I am thinking about doing at least two different colors of these hearts. I don't want to do them all and go crazy. They give maybe an orange and a yellow one. And let's give this a whirl. So I've added in my fragrance, and it's the same fragrance that I used last year, and it's called Naughty Negligee. I got this from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It is now discontinued, but it smells really good, and I liked how it be behaved last year, so I thought I would bring it back. To me, it smells like the perfect Valentine's Day scent because it's like sweet and floral. It's got notes of pink, whipped cotton candy, bergamot zest, delicate rose and some jasmine petal. So it's sweet and it's floral. I, f I feel like roses just need to be in a Valentine's Day fragrance as much as I hate them. But it's not overpowering as far as the sweetness or the floral. It is very delicate. So I'm hand mixing that in. It does have 0.6% of Vaseline in it which is not going to be a big deal. It does discolor to a light yellow, but as you can see, I am discoloring the soap. Well, it looks orange right now. That buttercup always goes orange. It looks like mac and cheese every time. It turns back, but I am coloring the soap yellow, so it's not going to be a problem if it does discolor. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do an in-the-pot swirl with this. I just wanted some sort of design on the inside. Not that these conversation hearts have any type of swirl in them, but uh, keep it keep it interesting. Little swirl. And look how nicely this fragrance behaves too. It really slows down trace, makes it, everything very liquidy. It's going to be easy to pour. It smells really good, and that's saying a lot for me because I hate rose scents. So let's pour in this yellow <laughs> into the yellow but really they're orange. And we're gonna start pouring into our Brambleberry Heart Column Mold. So in it goes. I'll let this sit for 24 hours. We'll also make some other colors. I'm going to decorate them in the end because of course they have to have sayings on them. And that is that. It's like one of the easiest soaps to do.
So I've got all my sweethearts lined up and ready to go here. And the next part is to just write some of those iconic messages on them. So I have poured up some red soap batter and I've put it in a little uh, writing tip to just go ahead and just write, I don't know, love you on here or be mine. Some of the most popular ones. I thought about putting like marry me on one of them and then like if someone got one of that, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that would play out if they gave it away. It might be taken personally or it might be for real but I'm just gonna do like hug me you rock simple ones like that and the fun thing about this is if you mess up you can just wipe it off so not like cake where if you wipe off icing you've kind of messed up the whole thing but this should be fairly easy to fix any mistakes so, just like that. Like that. There you have it, our little sweetheart soaps, and aren't they cute? We got the yellow ones, and we got the orange ones. I think next year I'll have to play around and make some of the other colors. This year just wasn't happening. <laughs> I have to get another one of these molds, because when you just have one, it's hard to make a lot of one thing. These will be available on the January 24th shop update, so you can get one for your sweetheart. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you liked what you watched, be sure to subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave them for me in the comment section down below. Until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. And I will smell you later.